Hey everyone. All right, we're doing a slightly different format here. Um, so we're, we're in my office today. Um, uh, let me make sure chat's working. Looks like chat's working. Cool. Cool. We good. Um, yeah, so don't you shooting here. Sorry, just want to take a quick minute, make sure everything was running smoothly. Um, so a little different than uh, what I usually do here. Um, it's, it's October. So we're just gonna kind of casually talk about the Halloween movies. Um, I'm gonna give you just a quick rundown of the different timelines within the series. Um, and then we can just have a little Q and A here with you guys. Um, I watch these movies every October, so I have a lot of just random knowledge or we can just chat about them, you know, whatever uh, we wanna do here. So we'll, uh, we'll kind of figure that out when we get there. Uh, yeah, so first, uh, just a quick rundown and yes, um, I see you asking the question. I did say timelines, plural. Uh, there are five, five timelines within the Halloween movie series. Um, between all 11 movies so far released for them. So we're gonna start with the, the shortest one. Uh, that's gonna be Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Uh, this one is a standalone movie um, by design. After the first two Halloween movies, they decided to keep Michael Myers dead. So they uh, decided there was going to be like an anthology series. So every every Halloween movie from then on was just going to be its own thing. Uh, it didn't do well enough for them to keep doing that. Um, even though when they brought Michael Myers back, it did pretty much equally as well as Halloween 3 did. But they moved on undeterred with, with the shape. Um, so anyway, Season of the Witch. Silly little 80s horror movie. <laughs> You've got, you've got robots that look like people, you got a town with bad Irish accents, you got killer Halloween masks that are triggered by a commercial. Um, it's, it's phenomenal. There, there's some fun, some fun kills in here. Um, snakes coming out of masks. Um, and just as a fun trivia fact, uh, this is the only movie in the Halloween franchise that pronounces the word Samhain correctly. Um, every other time it's used, they say Samhain because I guess they couldn't bother looking up how to pronounce this word. They just did it phonetically and just assumed that that's how it was. Um, yeah, so there's that. Uh, that. Again, just silly fun movie, definitely check it out. Um, and as a just quick extra bonus fact here, in our Halloween movie franchise, the uh, what was intended to be the fourth movie um, in the standalone series uh, ended up being finished um, and later released uh, as uh, John Carpenter's uh, Prince of Darkness. So if you have not seen the originally intended to be Halloween 4, um, definitely check it out. That is that is a solid film. Absolutely worth a watch. Uh, yeah, so we're going to hit the uh, the main timeline now. Um, it's the longest one as far as number of movies goes. Um, although not as in terms of uh, time. Uh, but yeah, number of movies. Uh, we got to Halloween's one and two, and then four, five, and six uh, comprise just one long continuous timeline. Um, so actually, Halloween one and two, that, that's where it all began. You got Michael Myers killing his older sister, getting committed, and then going back to Haddonfield after he breaks out 15 years later to murder more people. Um, and then later that night, AKA Halloween two, you know, he keeps killing people. We find out that Laurie's his sister he was later adopted after his parents died from um, and yeah and then they they kill him but they don't kill him uh, <laughs> it's return of Michael Myers telling me before he comes back we got um, Lori's uh, orphan daughter Jamie who is with her parent sorry uh, super chat came in that says cool that looks just like Bob but looks just like Bob I don't behind you in the nothing's in the doorway don't 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 spend your money on pranks just don't don't do that that's that's silly that is a silly use of money um to spend on pranks just just don't do that um where was i right jamie uh young jamie um yeah, so at some point, Lori had a daughter. Um, Jamie's parents died from... And... Uh, 
she's adopted. Michael is going after her. He wakes up from his coma after learning as a niece. Goes to find her and kill her. So Halloween's four and five, aka Return to Michael Myers and Revenge of Michael Myers, are young Jamie's struggle against the the killer and all the trials and tribulations therein. And then we have Halloween six, Curse of Michael Myers. Um, there's a cult dedicated to Michael Myers. Um, I guess they're they're trying to birth children that they can use to pass on the, the evil within Michael. I don't know. It's silly. It's kind of dumb. But it does star young Paul Rudd, and he is phenomenal. Um, Paul Rudd versus Michael Myers is perhaps one of the greatest things ever committed to film. <laughs> um, definitely worth a watch for, for that, if nothing else. Uh, yeah, so that's the, the, main, the main timeline there. Um, I mean, again, that's Halloween 1 and 2, Return of Michael Myers, Revenge of Michael Myers, Curse of Michael Myers. Um, in that order, uh, just, just fun 80s flashery stuff. I just, they're great, I love them. Um, and then we're going to kind of step away from the, the main movies a little bit, um, touch on the reboots real quick. Uh, Rob Zombie, for some reason, got commissioned to, to redo uh, Halloween 1 and then Halloween 2. I don't like him. Um, <laughs> full disclosure, I'm not a huge fan of Rob Zombie films. Think he's just over the top for the sake of being over the top. Um, I'm fine with over the top if it serves a purpose. I, I don't feel like it serves a purpose with him, so it's not something I'm into. Um, now, the, these movies do um, kind of delve into the psychology a little bit more. Uh, we get a deeper look into what made Michael... Michael, uh, what, what turned him into a killer. So we get kind of a deeper glimpse into, into uh, his psychopathy, and it's, 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 it's kind of well done. Uh, we get a little bit of Laurie in the, the second movie. You know, is, is this genetic? That, that kind of thing. Um, so stuff in there that I, I, I kind of like. Um, the second movie, I feel, is, is better than the first one. Um, partly, one, one of the, my things with the re reboots... Um, is if they do too much of a mix of old and new. Um, sometimes it feels like... Uh, I, I don't know. The second one did a lot of new stuff, which I appreciated, um, was more of its own thing, which I think is why I like it better. Um, beyond some of the stuff it, it tries to explore with Laurie. Um, I, I do like watching Laurie's journey as well in the second one. Um, I, I think there's some, some actually decent storytelling in that one, so... Whatever. Um, sometimes they're included in my marathon. Sometimes they're not. Um, sometimes only the second one is. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's the reboot timeline. If you like Rob Zombie, you'll like these. Um, we're going to hit uh, the first retcon timeline. Uh, so it's Halloween 1 and 2. And what? There's nothing in the doorway. Stop. Stop giving me money to tell me that there's something in the doorway. I live alone. No one's here. It's fine. I'm fine. I know I'm fine. You ain't gonna fool me into thinking I'm not fine. <sighs> right, wreck on timeline. So Halloween 1 and 2. Um, and then we get uh, H2O and Halloween Resurrection. So H2O is just, just a fun 20 years later thing. Lori's all grown up. She has a son. Not a daughter, but a son. Um, who's turning 17, which is how old Lori was when Mike went to kill her, which is how old his older sister was when Michael killed Judith. So, naturally, this is when he comes back to try and kill people. <laughs> um, it, it, it's fun. Um, it, it, it's classic, like, early 2000s. Uh, silly horror. So, Scream, I, I Know What You Did Last Summer, that kind of thing. Um, so that's, yeah, they're, they're fun. Um, I enjoy them. Uh, Halloween Resurrection is maybe my favorite. Uh, I know that is an unpopular opinion among Halloween fans, but it's just so silly. It's so silly. It, it's, it's a live stream reality show where a bunch of people are in the house, the Myers household, trying to figure out what made Michael go crazy, and Buster Rhymes is amazing. And <laughs> he dresses up as the shape, and then squares off against the shape and it's oh it's glorious it's so fun he roundhouse kicks Michael Myers and I love it um 
Yeah, so, yeah, like I said, H2O and Resurrection, um, I really like them. They're, they're, they're silly, early 2000s horror, and they're great. Um, yeah, so then we get into the, the final uh, Retcon timeline, uh, which is Halloween 1. Uh, actually, it's going to be, it's Halloween and then Halloween. Um, why they just named the 2018 movie as Halloween, I don't know, but there it is. So Halloween, and then Halloween, parenthetically, 2018. So they, they completely removed the second movie from the equation, so Michael has only killed five people, and Laurie is not the sister. Um, but the So the events of Halloween 1 happen, um, and then 40 years this time goes past, uh, and then Michael... Uh, escapes from his crazy house du jour um, and kills a bunch of people <laughs> goes after Lori and her family uh, they fight them off there there's some interesting kind of twists in here that I I like um, there, there are some that I think they maybe could have gone further on or in a slightly different direction but overall um, I, I think it's definitely uh, a, a good flick um, so yeah so there, there we go. Uh, that that's all of the, the Halloween timelines. And why do you insist on giving me money to tell me that there's no one behind me? There's no one behind me. That's ridiculous. That is. All right. Well, you just gave me twenty bucks to turn around, so I guess I'll turn. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, 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 hey! 